Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I am Meaty69 and we are back with the M48 pattern. Now in this video we have a replay from myself and two replays from Unique from the Fox Clan. Now his replays were actually sent to me in like October time and they were great replays so I didn't want to put them in with the replays of the week. I actually wanted to make a pattern video. So to save space on my device, I put them in my drive and I left them there. And I didn't get around to playing the pattern or trying to do well in the pattern for a video. I just completely forgot about them. So I started playing the pattern. I had a good game. And then I remembered I had two amazing battles in my drive. They were from October time, like literally five months. Uh, so I'm going to use them. Uh, because they are still amazing replays definitely worth the watch so firstly my battle and it's a really good battle so we've pushed c here we've managed to cap c the enemy have, have capped a so we are the only one i'm the only one who capped this base so i'm getting the supremacy points we have got the type 61 and we've got the is7 here so we can't push the hill there is three TDs, which we know they are spotted in the uh, TD spot. So we don't want to push the hill too much because we could get absolutely wrecked. Now just watch this Fosh. He goes full YOLO uh, just to get a shot in on the IF7. Now look at his hit points. He has just got wrecked. And we do take a shot from the Type 61. We try to get a shot into the grill. So that was a wasted shot. And we lost a little bit of hit points because of it. So the Type 61 is a one shot. The grill, the Object 268 is both down there. I am looking at the minimap and I'm thinking I'm not getting no shots here. And we spot the E75 trying to flank. So now he is my target. Uh, however, running away, we do manage to get a shot in on the IS-7. We clear him. And the last remaining TD uh, has been spotted. So running away, we do manage to get a nice shot into him without taking any shots from the camping TDs. So now we are going to push the E75, who is isolated all on his own. So we're going to focus him. One of my TDs shoots him, puts him down to 341 hit points, and we can take him out for our second kill. Um, I'm now thinking that E75 capped A on his own, and then he flanked around. But as we get there, we do spot a full hit point IS-4. So we bounce the shot into his side and we need to be careful because his armor is very, very troll. He's probably not going to bounce us, but then he decides to try and push me, which allows me then to try and circle him. And that's exactly what's happening. However, the IS-4 armor is very, very troll. So we do get a shot there and a couple of the shots I should aim. Uh, we are aiming here. We get a bounce on his bottom plate which means we get a shot in return from him. So we do need to keep circling him. We get a nice another pen there and we can get around him without him shooting us. But then again, we shoot his turret. We do manage to get the pen and now he decides to back up so I can't circle him. He should have done this at the very start. We do get a nice bounce, uh, but we do bounce him on return. So we need to start doing some damage, do more damage to him because we are only on 600 and 89 hit points so we're going to circle him again he leaves the position against the wall we bounce him and now again he backs up but at that time it's too late we put him down to 28 hp and then the grill comes to help me out and takes him out so altogether we've done 4.5k damage there is two tanks left which is the object 268 and the grill so we are potentially a one shot to them both if they high roll or even sort of an average roll so we do need to be careful um but they are they've capped c they've capped my base we are capping a and now the grill has literally just been deleted but the object 268 takes out our centurion he is now going to flank uh, the fosh who he doesn't want to know me which is great for me he wants to take out the fosh he probably shouldn't Maybe you, you should have faced me, but we are winning on cap points, and it's very good for me because he's chasing this Fosh. He wants that Fosh, which means I can just follow him behind 
he does take out the Fosh, but by this time, I'm behind him, and there really is not much he can do. So we get one more shot into him, put him down to 26 HP, and there is nothing he can do. So, very good battle. We got a lot of supremacy points there, 6.2k damage, 35,000 credit earned. We get 1,787 uh, base XP, which is not bad. Quite nice XP. The object 268 there, done his job, 5,000 damage, and we get 600 and 25 supremacy points so not a bad battle in this tank now next up we have unique and these two battles are insane they really are great battles and it just goes to show how good the pattern is the pattern although i don't play it as much now it's it's a great tank there is a few other tanks that i prefer over the pattern but only because of sort of the play style like the leopard one it's got an insane gun. It's got no armor, but I just love the Leopard 1. However, the pattern has got a great turret. For a medium, the turret on this thing is insane. If you can get into a hold down position, you can bounce more than a lot of the heavies can. And he's now flanked around and he hasn't spotted anyone on his side of the map, but he has now spotted everyone. Uh, well, he hasn't spotted, but everyone there in that heavy where the heavies go and he's got the leopard there he's got the pattern and he's getting some free shots however he does get spotted but he gets the bounce so 350 bounce uh he does take a return shot on the pattern but he shoots the leopard i think he meant to shoot the pattern but the leopard stepped in the way but it's funny because the mediums still stand there they are still sat there knowing he's flanked around they both could have the leopard pta and the pattern could have both come back chased him and they're it would have been two tanks on one but they don't they don't they decide to push with the team the leopard pta decides to stay up the top he is only on 500 hit points though and the pattern just literally forgets about him and he pays the price because now he is a one shot to the heavies um unique there's no reason for him to push around yet he's getting some shots in on the heavies so he's now up to 2.4k damage his team are dying, so he does need to clear some tanks, which he's going to do with that Leopard. So that is one tank down, one kill for him. And there is a few tanks that are low hit points. So he's going to relocate, he's going to get into the position. This T-54, not sure what he's doing. The pattern is, has now been taken out, so it is five against five. Uh, FV-215B gets the back of the FV-215B, who turns out into not so good uh, position. Um, now the Conqueror does get a shot into him, so it's four against five. T30 there rushes in, which is pretty much the best thing to do. Uh, but Unique takes out the Conqueror, so it's now three against four, and you can see him rushing in. He wants to get that kill on the FE215B uh, because he knows that the T30 is on a reload. So that was his perfect opportunity in rushing in to take out the tank to make it three against three. Uh, again, he's just spotted that T30 is just shot, so he can poke out, he can get that shot. He's not really worried about that T5041 because it's not a great danger to him. The T30 is more of a danger, but now here comes the IS-7 who takes out uh, the T54. So it's just him and the Centurion against three. Gets a nice shot in on that T54 E1. The IS-7 does not want to know him. He wants to clear the, the Centurion which is great for Unique because he can relocate whilst all three tanks there focus in on the Centurion. Puts the T-54E1, no, he puts the T-30, sorry, down to a one shot, and now he gets a shot in with the T-51. The Centurion gets taken out, which now leaves him against three, but this IS-7, I don't think he's the best player in the world, and he's pushing up, which means Unique can get around, get one shot while he's running away, and he can take out the low hit point and i love this bait shot he pulled back just as the t30 was shooting now we've all done that we have all had that happen where you're aiming at a tank that's coming out and he stops and you aim sort of just before him and you miss which is exactly what he does here which now he is in a great situation he's 1400 hit points with the IS-7 now only on 400 hit points. So he can now rush in. He's got enough hit points to take a few shots. He gets one more shot into him. 
leaves him on 115 damage and he gets the nice bounce and he can clear him up for his sixth kill 7400 damage uh just over a thousand block damage 1764 hit points a fantastic battle indeed so here we have him again and he's going to have yet again another fantastic battle um so the pattern if you haven't got the pattern the pattern is definitely worth grinding it's a great medium uh, as i've said great turret armor good accuracy good gun uh, good reload, just good speed. Everything about the tank is really, really good. Good gun depression, and with that turret armor and the gun depression, it really is very, very strong, heavy. Uh, you can get so many troll bounces on that turret, and it really is a good tank. It's There's a few tanks like the E50M lately, uh, and a couple of the other mediums like the T62, with the DPM that are preferred over this but it doesn't mean it's not a good tank it really is a good tank and it's probably not my favorite because the leopard the leopard one is my favorite but most people would definitely pick this tank over the leopard one uh, mainly because of the armor the armor really is really good you can see t54 there so just clearing this flank he's already done 2k damage and He's still got the Centurion, the WZ-121, and another tank uh, to his right. So he gets the he base a shot from the 121, and then he pushes in and he gets the shot in on him. And now he's got the Centurion. So, But he's going to clear up the, the 121 first. He's going to take his hit points because, well, he's the most dangerous target uh, with the nice gun. And then he can switch the HE on the rear of a Centurion, which not many people would do. Uh, 550 damage lovely and 3.5k down now they've got two tanks down he's going to clear up the 121 uh, which means now the centurion is a one shot which means he can reload but just before he reloads the jaegeru takes him out and he can now get behind the object 704 who's not looking he does get one shot into him don't think he meant to push that wz120 there and the Yakeru again just gets the shot in before he can. So it's now four against three. But there is a VK-45 up there against three heavies. And I can tell you, he is not going to last very long. And that was a nasty shot. And he's gone. So it's now three against three. He has saved his hit points. He's got only one bounce, 400 block damage. He's got himself 4k damage. Um, wank, look at that, wankers. 45. He's on his own against three heavies. But yet, his team are the wankers. Logic, that is. And you can see he's using this ridge line now to bait the shot. He's only showing his turret, uh, which can, is more than capable enough of bouncing tier 10 heavies, tier 10 TDs, because it really is very troll and it's really very bouncy. And um, which what it's what makes this tank really, really good. Again, hits the turret there, 460 block damage from the VK. And he's now taken the tanks all down to very low hit points, one by one. So he's took the VK down, he's now taken the T57 down, and now he can rush in. Uh, he does get a shot in return. He's looking out for the E100, so he's not just focused on the one tank. You can see him looking at all the tanks. He wants to know where they all are. He doesn't want to get shot. He wants to save his hit points. And as soon as the, the T57 spotted, he starts baiting him and he starts using that ridge line and now he knows the t57 is down to a one shot he does miss because the t57 got his tracks but again there he gets a bounce from the e100 so he now knows the t57 was on a reload he can push he can get him out he's now on 6.5k damage 1500 blocked he just needs one more shot in to get to the 7k mark however if this was me, I'll just YOLO in. I could, you can take a shot. And he gets another blocked damage. So 2,100 block damage, 7.2k damage. He gets three kills, an amazing two replays sent from Unique. And I am sorry that it took so long for me to show, but I just forgot about them. So that is the M48 pattern, a fantastic tank, and it's definitely worth having. But for now, I'm Midzi, and I'll catch you soon.